Good morning. When I sat down to film this video today, this was not the video I was going to do. But I realized if I didn't do it, I would not ever have another chance to. It may sound ominous, but it's not ominous at all. I realized that I had not done a get ready with me since I've been 70 years old. And the next time I'm scheduled to do a video, which will be October 29th, I will already be 71. So this was the last time that I could film this video. And believe it or not, this is the after look. I started my channel when I was 60 and every year afterwards I wore less and less and less and less makeup. And I also purchased less makeup. And when I do my get ready with me, I have one new makeup product that I was influenced, yes I was, and I'm glad I was, by Melissa55. And after the Get Ready With Me, I'm going to announce the five winners of the Timeless gift set of five products. So I've got five winners that are gonna get a box of five products and I'm really excited about that. And of course, there's always a little bit of chit chat. If you watch me, you know. Well, the first thing I usually do is brush my eyebrows because they are, as I've gotten older, they have gotten more wiry. I don't use color on them because I use a, uh, I use the Grande brow. I use it on my brows and my lashes. And if I keep, if I use it every other night, I don't have to use anything on my brows except for something to keep them in place. Then after I have that in place, I go to a powder, and today, it, it can be any powder for me. And today, I picked up the Bye Bye Pores powder, and I used the Angie Hot and Flashy Concealer Brush. Well, sign up for BK Beauty's emails. They have sales all the time, and last weekend, they had 50% off. This brush and Lisa's 101 brush, foundation brush, are my favorites of all time. So my goal here is to get some of this darkness gone. So I'm just gonna pat my brush here, and then I'm gonna come right here and pat it right here. And see that helps so much. Then I'm just gonna do it again and just go right underneath here. And on the other side. My next step is the My Mally Primeless Everclear Face Defender, and I've used this, not this exact one, but I know this is the third one I've used in nine years, and Darlene told me about it, one of my viewers, and I love it. And I really hope you can see on camera what it does for my skin. This is clear, and there have been dupes and all sorts of like primers, I have tried so many things that are supposed to be the dupe for this, and none of them have come close in for me. Something I have to watch out for is milia. If I put something that blocks my pores, I'm real sensitive to it, and I'm really quick to note in my 15 times magnification mirror, I look for milia, and if I just see one starting, I stop whatever's new. So I don't add a lot of things new all the time, if you've watched me for a while. So anyway, my favorite way, you can do this anyway, but my what I do usually is I use a sponge, a dry sponge, and I'll just dab it on here, and I'll start on my forehead, and I don't have to go in and get any more yet. And I, to me, it just blurs everything. It's not one of those temporary things. I have never purchased any of those that, like the tie-dye or, um, oh, there's a bunch of them out there. I've never tried any of those. I do, I did buy a sample and I was gonna try it on Jim and he just never has wanted to yet, but one of these days I will. I'm real curious to see how long it will stay. Uh, I got my hair trimmed and my hairstylist said she had tried some and it looked really good and then like you never know when it's going to start flaking or if any of you all have had good luck with it let me know what brand because other people might want to learn about it but like if you're going to go someplace maybe and have your photos taken it it might really be good. So anyway I'm going to start in on the cheeks now. And 
and to save time, I just did the other side off camera. I turned, I kind of, well, it's not off camera. I just clip, I will clip it out. Then I use this end and I'll go right around my eyes, right here. And to me, looking in my mirror, I think my skin looks so much better. I have not been wearing foundations almost all summer long. I haven't. I've, in fact, I have put on even like tinted moisturizer or just a lightweight foundation. And I've take, gone into the bathroom and taken a washcloth because my, I, for me, I like my skin better without anything right now. Now in the winter that may change, but for right now, I'm not using any foundation. Now the next thing I will do is I will tame my brows down. And I bought this two years ago. And this is Anastasia of Beverly Hills. I have a ton of it left, but I'll show you how little I use and how quickly I shut it. In the past, I've been able to use a lot of different brow products, and I only buy cruelty-free makeup. So I've heard that Benefit's wonderful for the eyebrows to keep them down, but it's not cruelty-free. I used to be able to use like the NYX products, but nothing works as good as this one does for my eyebrows. And I just take, I save a lot of my little brushes. This is a tiny brush that I had some time ago and washed it. And what I do, I just tap it in here twice, and then I go ahead and I put my lid on, and I turn it upside down. Anything that is not powder, I turn upside down. And then I may have to work quickly. I have another spoolie. This one's from It Cosmetics, and I use this to go over my brows after I apply it. And I'm going to go ahead and do one brow, and I think I'll use this smear. Oops. See, I kind of try to spread it between the two of them. Just that little tiny dip was almost too much. Then I take any clean spoolie and go over them. I don't want them like laminated, although I think that's in the, I'll, I'll put a link to it below. I think, I can't remember what the name of it is, but man, it'll keep my eyebrows the way I like my eyebrows to be, because if I don't use it, it'll come down, it'll make me look like I am asleep, and it'll make me look like I'm tired if I don't have my br eyebrows brushed. And then the next thing I do, I want some color on my face, and I'm gonna put on one of my very favorite lipsticks, Allie Klein's, she's a YouTuber, and if you don't watch her, I'm gonna put a link to her channel below she is such a lovely young lady. She is such a of she is, and she she has a cosmetic line, and she has lipstick, and now she has blush. I haven't purchased any blush, and I purchased everything that I show you. That's that's the way I like to do it. But this is Tulip, and it is a wonderful lip product. It feels good. I ordered two of them. I can't remember the other one, but but I've really enjoyed it and I will just apply that on my lips without any lip pencil. There, I mean, I just think it's really pretty and it brightens my face. I really wanted this to be only five products, but when I woke up this morning and I saw what, what it looked like on either side of my eyes. I thought I got to use the powder. So I can't do without lipstick. And my next is something new. And because of Melissa 55, I bought this. I love eyeliner and I only love navy eyeliner. I would say 99.9% .9 of the time that's all I use. I do know that in the same line, one cut, one shade may be like perfect. Like I remember Marc Jacobs back in the day, his black was perfect. And I ordered the navy and it was not good. And for me, a good eyeliner is one that stays in my upper waterline and the tight line. And now with this one, I have been able to do something a little different and it's expensive. 
For years, I loved the It Cosmetics, wore it all the time, didn't shop around. See, I think I saved money by not find it, by finding something I love and sticking with it. And then they changed the formula, and I didn't like it. And then I went to Milk. Mary Glitzy Fritzy taught me about Milk eyeliner. Perfect. Perfect navy. Loved it. They discontinued it. I found one from Milani. It was Femme Fatale. It was great. Can't find it anywhere. I've even signed up so if they, when it's back in stock to let me know, but it was a good one. And so, and Give Beauty by Gwen Stefani. It's a good one, but I'd really wanted to try this because Melissa loved her burgundy. And this is by Victoria Beckham. And it is a $32 eyeliner in navy. I, I take the cap off and I leave it off on the bottom because there's a smudger that sometimes I use and sometimes I don't. But I store my it this way so this doesn't get dirty. But this is the navy blue. And I've sharpened it already. It comes with a sharpener. And I just love it. I'll put it on the back of my hand and I'll show you how easily it glides. It is just like butter. And if you if you go right away, you can smudge it. But if you leave it on, you can't. I'm gonna put it in my upper waterline. If you don't wanna watch, I'll tell you when to look. But it just, one, two, it's done and it's there. And I don't do that. I used to do this every day, but since I'm older, I don't want to do anything that will potentially make my eyes dry or, or whatever. And I do this when I'm going somewhere, but I do like it a lot. I, I, I've, I love the Navy in my upper waterline, but since I've gotten this, I've kind of played around and I'll show you something else that I like to do with it. And you know, older eyelids are different than young ones. So so I'm just gonna run it across my eyes. And then I'm gonna smudge it out. Just bring it up on the end. And I like the way that looks. I'm gonna do the other one. It's not a big difference, but it is a subtle enough difference that I like it. And I do like pencils that you sharpen because anytime I have them that are retractable, they always dry out by the time I get to the end. And on anything that you sharpen, it stays moisture longer. And that's just a personal preference, but that's, that's what I like. So I really feel like I could go out just like this, go do whatever I wanted to do and I would if I, after I brush my hair and all that but I want to wear mascara but I don't feel like I have to wear mascara but I'm gonna apply my very favorite mascara of all times I think I've been using it since 2017 with the exception of a couple of times I bought um, some lash paradise because I wanted to try it but I always buy these when they're on sale. Like right now, I think you can get them three for $42, which is like $14 a piece. And a lot of times closer to Christmas, they'll have specials on QVC and you can get like six for $60 or five for $60. But the travel size will last me, Would when I used to buy it in the past, it would last me almost three months. And, uh, but they're like $16. So I go ahead and just buy the full size and then I throw it away the beginning of every season. So since this is autumn, <laughs> I have a new one and I always put a rubber band around the new one because one time I didn't and I ran across one and I wasn't sure which was new. So that's what I always do. And so I can get decent lashes We'll see how many coats it takes. Here's the wand. And I always look down into the mirror. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is ten swipes. So, so without going back in, I'm going to do th these eyelashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
10. And you know what? That is good for me. It is, it'll last all day long. And when I wash my face tonight, it'll come right off. It's so easy and it never flakes on me. I do always keep an, a clean mascara wand. This was, I did buy Thrive one time to try it and I didn't like it any better. But I, I always go through my lashes. Now I'm gonna go fix my hair and I will be back. I could have gotten that done in less than five minutes, but I just kept on talking. I'm thrilled to death that it is now autumn. I love it. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite season and always has been. I did go to my golden class reunion and the reason they call it golden, it's the class of 1971 turned 71. It was our 53rd anniversary and we were born in 1953. It was so nice. It was on the lake. It was so close. It was less than a half a mile from where my son's house is. He lives on the lake. And our hosts were from North Carolina, but they own a home on the lake too. So thank you, Susan and Bill, for hosting. It was great. I enjoyed getting to see everybody. Most of it was outside under shade trees, and it was just wonderful. There were some people that went to St. Mary's Catholic School that were also there, and after I left, a couple more came. And, you know, when you go to a small school, I think maybe there were 12 in our graduating class. And I may put a picture up here of the school that was right across the road, right across the street from my house. There we had four classes, started out four classes in one room, first through fourth, and then fifth through eighth in the other. And then by the time I, our class was kind of big, they moved the classes to the basement and we had a fourth and fifth grade teacher. So there weren't any frills in that school, just some nuns and a lay teacher that was downstairs. And we did, anyway, it, it was fun. And, and you almost feel like you're related to those people that you went all through 12 years of school with. Jim's doing good, still have things that may or may not happen later this year, but you know, but we're doing, we're doing fine. We really are. Before I announce the winners of the Timeless skincare boxes, I wanted to let you know something. I started using Timeless products 10 years ago. At the time, I, after I had been using them for about three years, in one of my videos, and I say this all the time, like I bought the product, they did not send it to me, but it's because I don't want people to send me things. Well, apparently it upset some of my viewers and a few of them contacted Timeless back nine plus years ago. And I got an email from the owner of Timeless. And people were upset because she hadn't sent me products, but the, the viewers didn't know that, she, that I hadn't, didn't want any. But at that time, she, she decided she wanted to talk to me, so she called me and I asked her if I could offer a discount to my viewers and make a small commission. And she did. And at that time I had 25% off and I was so happy that I could offer 25% off to the viewers who use my link. And then it changed to $5 off a certain amount and it can only be used one time. Recently, when I spoke to them about doing the gift boxes, I asked if they would consider a percentage off again for my viewers, because that's not that much for you to get off, and especially at one time only. And they said yes. So in my link below, if, if you click on the link, number one, that means automatically you get 20% off and that means I get a small commission. But if they have, like they have sales all the time, if you put in any code other than mine, you'll get that percentage off. Like if it's 30% off, 40% off, and 50% off. But if you come back to my links and when you do your ordering, I do get commission and I do want you to know that. Just on anything that I have listed below, if I don't earn commission, I type it in up here because I don't want to be, I don't want you to be confused. But I've always been so happy that they are generous in their gifting for my viewers. And in this box, what you're going to receive is, it's the bright and glowy five-piece set. You have vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid, 100% pure hyaluronic acid serum, which is moisturizing for most. 
dark circle eye cream at, and these are all full size i've never used that i use the hydrating eye cream but i've heard it's good squalane oil pure one ounce and the matrixel 3000 with cucumber spray and the first winner is martimar 7181 congratulations martimar the second winner is fasting star chanel congratulations chanel third winner is chrissy wilson and congratulations to you chrissy my next winner is nancy gibson 3123 congratulations to you nancy and my last winner is laura smith 7421 congratulations to you laura and all you have to do to claim your gift is to leave a comment below and tell me that you won and then i will let you know how to get in touch with me because i have a certain email address that i use that's strictly for winners since i didn't film the video that i was planning on filming today i might put up a video uh, before my last sunday in october but i might not so i'm still committing to the last sunday of every month but there's a couple of videos i really want to do and if i do just if you're not subscribed just go look up mary ellen after 60 and you'll see because i did buy something new that i I kind of jumped the gun, but maybe not. We'll see. And uh, anyway, I appreciate you and thank you for your time and for choosing to click on my channel. I have so many people that have been here forever and I can't believe you're still here. I can't believe it. It is all good. I will see you in my next video and I'll probably be a year older and uh, take care. Every year, every year, because I don't want it to be scammed. Surprisingly, I, uh, and the only thing, I, today I picked up, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to tie, I'm going to, so like for me, anyway.